This is our property over on Ridgeland in Decatur. It's a three bedroom, two bath home, as you can tell. The neighborhood around us is pretty good, pretty decent shape. Let's go take a look inside. So you see you have a nice driveway here. So it's a uh, cedar uh, siding, so here was an addition that they made at one point in time. Probably have to put new siding on that part of it uh, to prevent water from going in. They put some uh, the great stuff on there, but you need to do something better than that. So probably need some new siding. Here on the side, you'll see the cedar. It's in good condition, probably just repaint it. That window there is boarded up, however the it's functional. Just need the glass. Let's take a look inside. So as you can see here, you have nice hardwoods. Probably just need refinish. If you're gonna rent it, I just clean it, make it functional. So this here's a living room. Over here is the kitchen. So the kitchen at one time was remodeled, so it doesn't need too much work. Maybe some cleanup. Tile, could probably just clean it up as well on the floor. Here's where your refrigerator went. You can see the water supply there. Here is the, I guess what it would be like a den. There's your backyard. Now here, is uh, where some water penetrated into the she-rock from up upstairs. Um, it's a very small grade between this point and that point outside. So a lot of leaves and everything it's just settled. And even though the roof was once recently redone, uh, the roof settling there kept the water from draining properly. And thus, this is what you get. So make sure you keep those roofs cleaning. There's your exterior door. It's uh, just board it up so we can't exit there right now here is one of the bathrooms so here's your toilet there's your sink need a vanity and a light there and then this is a one-piece shower tub so you can see need some work done this is the addition we saw from outside it's kinda dark but you see that the walls were done properly down at the bottom um, or you probably can't see it that great, but it was done properly. However, the siding on top, you can see with the light coming in, so water that means water will be coming in as well. So probably just new siding there. On to the bedroom. This is bedroom number one. <clears throat> as you can see, a little space drawing there. But paint, and you should be done in this room here for sure. Some new doors for your closet if you need them. <clears throat> here is your second bedroom. Again, you know, just paint, new fixture, some doors. Here is your master bath. Um, can also go to the uh, hallway bath. So. Here is a deep sunken in jacuzzi tub. <clears throat> and someone started your stand up shower here, so you see the hardy or the um, cement board, but never finished. So just a matter of tighten those back up and put some tile down. Here, are the tile, I mean, I, you can either demo or you can keep it. It's up to you. There's your toilet. Here's some pretty much just dead space. I don't know why they didn't put the shower on this side instead of that side, but you know, to each his own. But uh, you can definitely use it as additional closet space for the master. Here is some storage space for the master. And then here is what I assume is what they were going to convert to the master. So you see they put all new windows. They added a fireplace, some shelves. 
similar to what you see on the other side of this wall, which is which was the uh, den. And again, you see some water marks because of the same reason. And we'll see that from outside when we go out there. Let's go downstairs for a quick brief moment. There are, or there is a basement. So we'll probably just add rails to the, these stairs. Stairs seem pretty sturdy. So this is a partial basement here. See all your electricals seems to be in place. Here's your furnace. And believe it or not, your AC is still outside. Hopefully we can get a good shot of that. There's your water heater. There's your ducts. As a rental, I would probably just leave everything um, as is, wouldn't upgrade or anything. So there's all your wires there. So everything looks good down here. Now there is uh, water coming into the basement. Um, our guess would be the fact that it's probably coming from the back side of the house and we'll show you where we believe it's coming from but you know always look into it however it's the basement so have good ventilation should just uh, evaporate So one thing you really want to do is get rid of all this shrubbery, trim this tree down so you can actually see the house, it can actually have a curb appeal. Here's some more of the problem with the properties, all this shrubs, really want to remove them, get rid of them. Here's a, some siding there. So here's a backyard, some more siding of the addition, more siding of this addition there. And uh, so here's the, the property, and as you can see, the dirt grades towards the property, and there you can see like a wall, a little barrier of a wall. You can also make it out down here. So here's the wall there. There's your property. So all of this here needs to be cleaned out, properly maintained at all times. And there's a French drain at the front of the yard, so I guess there's this fr they drained it from there so, prop so the water can go around the property, not into the property and just lack of maintenance. So here on the roof, uh, you can tell the top portion where it peaks. It's a newer roof, 20 year roof. However, uh, you can tell where all the debris, all the leaves, all the pine cones and everything was just left. And as it settled, water was prevented from flowing off the, the roof. So what happens is it just settles and eventually uh, soaks into the decking and eventually your she rock inside and that's what happened. So obviously get that taken care of. And again, more clean up to do as far as landscape. However, I will tell you, due to the landscape, you probably can't see it from here, but your AC is still there. So here's the other side of the house. There's your backyard. If you have a good size lot, good size house, great rental neighborhood. So let's go and take a look at the other side of the house. Here, here. Here's some more shrubs you want to take down. The property still has a gas meter, is a good sign. That means that the uh, gas lines are still intact. Because I don't I didn't smell gas. There's your AC unit. Um, still there, but probably gonna still need a new one. Um, but at least you see that it's not having been taken yet. Here is entrance to the basement from outside. There's some stairs underneath that debris there. So, 
this is our property indicator on Ridgeland.